hi, I've got a piece of footage here that is DJI D-Log footage. And I want to show you how easy it can be to convert the footage so that it looks correct. Because right now it's got no color. It's very washed out. It's log footage. So it needs to be converted. We don't need a LUT. We don't need a CST. I'm going to show you my process. Uh, and then if you think it works good for you, you can try it out. Uh, it does require the correct color management settings, which I'll show you in a minute. But let me go ahead and show you how I'm going to convert this. Over here in the media pool, I have my piece of footage. And if I have 50 clips, I can do all of them at the same time. Right click on the footage, come down to input color space. I'm going to go to DJI, D-Log. Boom. I just converted my footage. And instead of looking like washed out log footage, it looks very nice. Now at that point, now we can still go over into the color page and make additional changes. But uh, just straight out of camera, this looks pretty darn good already. So that is how you do it, but you have to have the correct color management settings. So let me show you that right now. All right, in order to use these techniques, we need the right color management settings. If you go to the bottom right of DaVinci, there's a cog wheel. Open that up, that brings up your project settings. We're gonna to go to color management, and these are the settings I use. Now, there, this, there are hundreds of hours of information online, and it's really confusing. So I'm just gonna tell you, this is what I'm using. This works perfect. I do real estate videos and wildlife and that kind of stuff. This gives me the highest dynamic range and the easiest workflow. So up here for color science, I've got DaVinci YRGB color managed. Color processing mode is DaVinci wide gamut intermediate. Just ignore that HDR. You may be thinking, well, I don't use the HDR. Just forget that's even there. Just ignore that. And output, output color space in most cases uh, this is going to be your most correct thing. Once again, this is a massive, massive topic. You're going to make your head explode if you try to get into it. I'm just telling you, this is what I use, and it works absolutely amazing for me. Now, once you have set that up, you're good to go. But let me show you one little tip. If you come up to the top right corner here, there's three little dots. And this gives you the uh, opportunity to set your current settings as a default preset or to save the settings as a preset. So that way, once you've set this, every time you open up a new project, it will automatically be here. So you'll never have to set this again. So that's that. So anyhow, that is how you set up your color space. Once you do, you'll be able to uh, do the right click and input color space like we've talked about. Now that we have the correct color management settings, uh, let me go through that again. You come over into your uh, media pool here, find input color space. Now, if it's not there, that means you don't have the right uh, color management settings. We go into DJI, D-Log or DJ D-Gamut, click that, instant conversion. Uh, if you have D-Log M footage, I've mentioned this before, this will not work. This is not M footage, this is just D-Log footage. Let's just jump over for fun and go into the color page. And I would probably pop, make this pop. I'm going to bring up my whites a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make a little bit of an S curve. Give my, my darks a little bit more fun. This is kind of a sunset clip. I'm just going to warm it up, add a little bit more saturation. Uh, I would probably end up... Uh, doing a little bit more uh, sharpening also. But anyhow, here's before and after my little color grade. So you convert it using input color space with the new technique that I showed you, and then you can color grade it. Uh, once again, I'm going to link down below there. If you have D-Log M footage, uh, this is a little bit trickier. So please watch that for D-Log M. Uh, I hope this has helped you out a little bit, and uh, thanks for looking.